Alright, I'm heading out on a camping trip this Friday, heading to a local park for a winter freeze-out trip, and this is the setup I'm taking with me for cooking. This is my uh, carbon felt windscreen. Uh, it's supposed to be a bit on the windy side, so I want to make sure I have a windscreen, and I haven't gone actual camping with a windscreen of this type before. I've always taken an aluminum one, I think. Uh, so I thought I'd cut one out and try it this time. I've used it around the house, but I've never taken it anywhere. I'm taking this as my uh, just a, uh, light aluminum cup. It had a handle on it. I cut it off so there's no handle anymore, even though there's still the rivets in there. A couple lip guards or wristbands uh, and a carbon felt uh, wrap on it just to hold it. Maybe a little excessive, but we'll see. We're going camping this weekend. Uh, me and my son are both going. We're both going to take an 8-ounce bottle of fuel. And then I'm bringing this as an additional. All of our meals, breakfast and dinner, are all uh, alcohol stove cooking. So that's why we're t I'm taking the extra fuel. Uh, it takes about 2 minutes to boil. I'm sorry, not 2 minutes. 2 ounces of fuel to boil 2 cups of water. So... At that rate, I'd go through this in four meals, uh, and I will have just four meals, but I also like to make some coffee on a nice, easy hike, so that's why I'm bringing the extra fuel. And if my son has trouble with his uh, burner, we're using the same type of burner, a little bit different, close. This is the burner I'm using. I got this from, um, I think it was Hoot that sent me mine, and I think uh, my son's taking one that was sent by... Uh, it may have been Scott or Hoot. I'm not sure. I have to look at and see. But they were sent to us, so we're going to use these. Um, this is the closed bottom. Uh, and the one he has is a the heavy-duty uh, aluminum blood-like can, kind of reversed on itself. So it actually has the hole completely through the center. Uh, it's up in his backpack, and I didn't want to start going through his backpack without checking it. And I'm taking along a, just a basic coffee pot, mini coffee pot here. And it works great for a pot to cook water in. Oops, it has to get it on, right? Just a pot to cook water in or a coffee pot for an additional coffee percolator for an additional, like, half of an ounce for that. So I'm taking that along. And that is my system that I'm taking for cooking in. <coughs> is that it in there? No. So, so I'm going to do a test run on this just to see how it burns on this pot. I don't know if I've ever used that stove on this pot, so I'm going to do a test burn real quick. Uh, what you see in here in the background is my son's winter quilt. We sealed the seam. We, this is the one I stitched and you saw the video on. We sealed the seam on here um, and the tie-outs so it wouldn't leak on us if it were to rain. Uh, I didn't want him getting dripped on. Uh, it is starting to dry. I started at this end it that way and uh, this has been down here for oh almost eight hours now and it's starting to starting just starting to dry but uh, not yet uh, and I'll show you I don't know if you can hear this but still damp so we got a lot of dry completely we've got a couple days still before the trip today is Tuesday and we don't leave till Friday uh, so still a little damp on this. We need to let it dry completely before we can pull the tarp back up or else the tarp will all stick together. I've never used this before. I'll grab the container that I used so I can show you what it was. Uh, don't like the way it really turned out. It looks a little rubbery. So I'm hoping it doesn't just peel off in time. Well, it's, as it dries a little better, I guess it doesn't look so rubbery. Or maybe I just didn't put as much on down here. I don't know. But Looks very rubbery as it goes. Looks like the inside of a raincoat kind. I guess so I don't know. Let me show you the material I used, the stuff I used. Show it back. I'll grab that bottle. All right, the stuff I used is a seam grip. Let's see if I can get it to focus at all. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who it's by. Hold on, let me look and see here. Uh, Mick Net. Oops, I just dropped it. Hold on. M C. N E T T McNett Corporation, and it's called Seam Grip, Seam Seal for Outdoor Repair. 
hopefully that all dries out soon enough and we have ourselves a nice waterproof tarp for him so for the winter camp out. Something I want to check and see is if I can light this with a a spark. So I'm going to try that. It's pretty far down in. Not having much luck. And it doesn't actually doesn't really work its way up into the sides as quick as I thought it would. Um, there's holes in the bottom of there, and I assume those are to allow the fuel up into the side. But it doesn't really absorb up into the top as much as I thought it would. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now it's up there. Let's see if it lights down. Not as easy as I thought it would light. Is there fuel on that side? So that's interesting that it doesn't light that easy. I will have to address that. Okay, I'm going to bring it down here where I can see it as well. But as I start to tilt this, I can see the fluid. I don't know if you can see it in there. I can see the fluid when ready to drip out the edge. So that is definitely as much fluid as you can get right there. Shoot, I can see the fluid rolling down the edge of it. Oops. Yeah, that's not good. Let me get the paper towels and wipe that up real quick before we start a fire. So anyways, the spark does not seem to be lighting it. Alright, well. It started to burn. Just barely. I'm going to try to see the lights so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It is, I'm sorry, I don't have my stand, I don't know where my stand's at, so I'm just walking around with my camera, excuse me. There it goes. Finally starting to burn. I wonder if I have some uh, old fuel here. Because that is acting really weird. That is acting really weird. So maybe I need to uh, get some fresh fuel. That is quite old. Uh, that bottle of fuel. I don't get too close, but. I got that on sale at. Goodwill, and it was at a Target store for a long time before that. So maybe the fuel is just old and bad. I need to get some fresh fuel. I mean, once it starts burning, it's doing fine, but boy, it sure got off to a rough start. Unless there was some water in there. I don't know. It does a pretty good job once it's going, though. I like the way it's wrapping the bottom of that pot. <clears throat> but I don't need those kind of troubles when I'm out in the cold, so I may address that a little more burning really well. I think I have a whole container of fresh fuel, SLX fuel. So let me check that. I'll be right back. Alright. So I think I'll use this fuel instead in the next round. It's a brand new container. It's never been opened. Uh, it's not SLX. It's Crown. So I've never used Crown before, but I got it pretty inexpensive at the hardware store. We're burning really well now. I like the way it's burning. Uh, I don't have the percolator in this right now, I just, just boil in water because this is what I'll be doing for most of my meals. Uh, the percolator is coming along just to make coffee and hot cocoa and such. Well, I don't. I won't percolate hot cocoa, but... The thing about the stove is it's got a nice handle I can grab onto even while it's hot. Uh, it's a little bit extra uh, in the backpack, the handle is. But I, it's not going to bother me because I'm going to have it in the side pack. I don't think it'll bother me. Uh, putting these out is not the easiest thing in the world, so you kind of let them have to burn out unless you have a snuffer that's that big that goes around that and I don't have one. I could possibly use my cup that I had a minute ago that would fit over that. But we've only been going for just a minute or two here. Well, maybe a little longer than that, but it's got a really nice pattern to it. It's already starting to bubble a little bit. And I like the... I like having the pour spout. Uh, we're taking Mountain House bags of food. And we're going to eat right out of the bags, for the most part, for uh, dinners. Uh, and I think that'll work out really well for pouring the liquid in there. Does a real good job. Yeah, that went really fast. I like that. Now, granted, we're going to be in freezing water. I mean, freezing weather. So, that went really fast. Now, what I want to test, I've never tried this before, but... Oh, not blowing that out. 
Alright, so it definitely needs a snuffing device to put that out. And I've grabbed my cup. It's a little taller. We're going to try it and see what happens here. It may not be enough, because there's just a little gap of air down there, but let's see what happens there. I'll have to on there for a few seconds take it off. Yeah, that was enough. Uh, I don't like doing that, because then you get fuel residue in the inside of your cup. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I don't know if you guys can even see that. There's like a liquid fuel in there that I need to wipe out now. So, I don't know if I like the idea of having fuel on the inside of my cup. That's the best thing to have. Yeah, it definitely smells like a fuel residue. Now I'm going to wash it with soap. I don't think I'll use that as a snuffer. I'll just try and plan my liquid a little better. So here's a Definitely a match thing. And this only works in one direction. Alright, the ultimate test would be a lighter. But, wouldn't you know, it, I don't have one of those that works either. It's going to be an interesting trip. I don't have a lighter that works, a match that works, I don't have anything that works today. Alright.